Hey there, Virgo, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your mid-month reading. This is going to be a reading for September 15th through the 30th. We're going to take a look at your past, present, and near future energies. Also, Virgo, if this reading resonates and you would like to book a personal, all the information about how to do that is in the description box below. And of course, if you enjoy what I do and you want even more free readings, make sure to subscribe to my email list. I send out free extended readings every single Monday only to my email list subscribers. You literally cannot, I don't upload these readings anywhere else. Okay, Virgo, main energy for your reading is the Ace of Cups. Bottom of the deck, you get the Nine of Wands. There's a desire here to start over, to have a brand new beginning between you and somebody else. You're coming from a very, very loving place, but you're frustrated. You're very frustrated, annoyed. Um, you're kind of at your wit's end when it comes to this person, this connection, and we'll see why. Your person can obviously be any sign. The main ones that I'm seeing are Aquarius and Gemini, but they can be any sign. In the recent past, you get the star, the king of pentacles, and the king of swords. You really have this beautiful desire to bring back stability and clarity to this connection. You're showing me like, I just want my person, the energy that I'm getting from them, to be grounded, to be stable, and I want them to be clear. I want what they're doing to make sense. I want to understand what is going on internally for them. For some reason, you're not really clear on... I guess the way your person thinks or perceives, I'm not sure what this lack of clarity is about. We'll clarify this in a minute and see. In the current situation, you get the Queen of Swords, the Hanged Man, and the Ten of Swords. So it's becoming very, very clear to you that something isn't working, that you need to put an end to something here. Now, I don't know if it's an end to this connection. I don't know if it's a cycle. We'll clarify and see. But logically, like when you look at this from a logical black and white perspective, you're like, yeah, I need to end this. I need to put an end to whatever this is. You don't want to, though, because you're showing me the hangman here. You're literally like, it's, I see what needs to be done. It makes sense. I don't want to do it. You're stopping yourself from taking action. In the near future, you get the lovers, the knight of swords, and the queen of wands. The reason you don't want to end things is because you're still holding on to hope, and it seems like that hope seems to come to fruition in the near future because you're showing me I'm taking action. I'm doing things to solidify this relationship, to make this connection work, to bring the lovers the way you two truly feel for each other back to the surface you're also putting on this energy of being very attractive very radiant very sexy very you know you're trying to like pull and reel your person back in mainly using your looks but also your seductive energy so let's clarify and see let's see what's going on the main energy for your reading is the ace of cups so let's see Ace of Cups is clarified by the Six of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Nine of Pentacles. You want a new beginning in love with this person. You want to level this connection up, take it to the next level from an emotional perspective. And deep down, what you truly, truly want is just to get to calmer energies between you and this person. Right now, the energies are kind of like this. They're very tumultuous. They're very difficult. They're very up and down. And you're showing me, I don't like that. I just want us to be good. I want the energies to be calm. You get the king of swords at the bottom of the deck and you get it again here in the recent past. But deep, deep down, your intuition is trying to tell you, Virgo, stop focusing all your energy and your attention on this person, on this connection. Focus it on yourself. There's something here where you need to prioritize your stability, your needs, your desires. And this could be even something as basic as like, you know, you need to make sure that you're financially set and sound in case something happens with this person. Or you need to make sure that your needs are getting met and not just prioritizing the other person's needs, right? This is going to be different for each of you. That's what your intuition is trying to get you to realize. I don't know if you're listening to it, though. Let's look at the star in the recent past. Oh, okay. I'll take whatever flips out. The star is clarified by the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and you got the Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck here for as a clarifier for your main energy and the death. Mm. This is the star. Yeah, you're frustrated because you deep down, you know what you want. And what you want is literally just to move past a difficult energy that you and this person are experiencing. I don't know if it's an ending. I don't know what this energy is, right? I do see the death, but the death doesn't have to mean the end of the connection. It could literally just mean the end of a cycle, the end of a phase, the end of something that's no longer serving you. But you're also very frustrated. You're like, I know what I want, but every time I either bring up my desire or I try to make it happen, I get met with wall after wall after wall after wall. So yeah, obviously that's going to start wearing on you after a while. 
But you're clear. You're showing me like, I know exactly what I want. I want commitment with you. I want stability. I want this relationship to be successful and go the distance. So why are you being met with so many walls from your person? Let's look at the king of pentacles in the recent past. King of Pentacles is clarified by the Eight of Wands, the Three of Swords, and the Empress. Yeah, this is you. I don't assign gender to my cards. The more you try to talk to this person, the more emotional pain you end up leaving with. So it's like you try to come at this, have a conversation from a, a vulnerable, genuine, open, honest perspective. And you're trying, you, you come in with very grounded energy. You're not the kind of person that's just going to start like screaming and wailing and be dramatic. That's not what you're about. And in the recent past, you're showing me, I try to talk to this person. I try to, you know, explain my perspective. I try to give them an understanding of where I am. No matter how much I talk to them, I just keep getting hurt and hurt and hurt. So either this person's rejecting you, either they're not interested in what you have to say, either they keep deflecting. You say something, they're like, yeah, but blah, 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 right? So it seems like every conversation you have, you just get more and more heartbroken from this person. But you're still looking at this person as your empress, the person for you. They're very significant, they're very important, and you genuinely care greatly and deeply about them. But talking to them really doesn't seem to help in the recent past. Oh, let's take a look at the King of Swords in the recent past. King of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Swords, Page of Cups, and the Two of Cups. So you're showing me, look, forget my feelings. Let me try to be logical about this. Let me try to be rational. What would make sense for me to do? Almost as if you're following a recipe. What would make sense for me to do in order to get my person to put their emotional walls down and open up to me emotionally and really show me that they love me and turn things around, right? Wheel of Fortune. It's almost like you're following a recipe where if somebody, this is just a stupid example, but let's say you come up to somebody and you're like, hey, you know what? My relationship's kind of in a rough spot. What would I do? So they'd be like, okay, you do one part um, sugar, two parts flour, three parts water, bam, you bake a cake and your recipes and your relationship's going to be fixed. That's kind of how you're approaching what you're doing here in the recent past. You're like, okay, talking to them from an emotional perspective doesn't work. Let me look at this logically and see if I could figure out what I can do, like literally black and white logically to bring back the love here. So maybe it's like, oh, we need to meditate together or we need to go on date night or we need to have more adult fun time together, right? It's going to be different for each of you. But the desire is to bring back the love. And you literally don't know what to do, so you're resorting to, <laughs> to what makes sense. Let's take a look at the current situation. I want to see what the Queen of Swords is all about. Queen of Swords is clarified by the Page of Wands, Five of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you tried the logical route and it yielded some results, but not much. The energy that you're getting from your person is minimal. Minimal barely anything they're really not it's like fun but it's not anything beyond that and you're showing me like I was hoping that this would really turn things around this would really be ace of cups new beginning in love which is also the main energy for your reading I really hope this would turn things around and honestly it didn't it just made me feel more and more conflicted and more and more torn about like what am I supposed to do now right talking to you doesn't help trying to approach this logically with you doesn't help like, what am I left to do? Anything I do with you, you meet me with very immature, very childish, very like barely there energy. So what, what, what else is there? Like, what else do I have to do? Let's take a look at the hanged man in the current situation. Yeah, the hanged man is clarified by the four of cups, eight of swords, queen of wands. You get the queen of wands again in the near future. You're kind of stuck. You're kind of stuck uh, energetically here and you're not stuck in the best energies, Virgo, if I'm being honest. You're very bummed out. You're very disappointed. I can see you spiraling in your head, like really racking your brain, trying to figure out the star, right? How do we get past this resistance? How do we get past this wall? Because you're viewing whatever difficult energies you and your person are experiencing, you're viewing it as a hump. You're literally viewing it as like, oh, we need to get over this hump. Um... But this hump is a pretty significant hump as far as you're concerned because you're really spending and, de and devoting a lot of your energy in the current situation to try to figure out how do I get past it. Now, what you seem to come to, the, the, 
the understanding or the belief that you seem to have in the current situation is that you're not attractive enough. You're not radiant enough. You're not, you know, physically attractive enough. That's what you seem to resort to because you're like, I can't figure out what else is wrong, right? It literally has to do with my looks, my appearance. I don't feel like that's the case, Virgo, because you're showing up the queen of wands here in the near future again. But because you've exhausted all other possible reasons as to why this person is just meeting you with such childish energy, you're resorting to, okay, maybe they just don't find me attractive. Maybe they're just not like physically into me, you know? I don't think that's the case, but that's, that's kind of the conclusion that you arrive at in the current situation. Let's take a look at the Ten of Swords in the current situation. Ten of Swords is clarified by the Five of Swords, the King of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. So, look, you're starting to realize that maybe this connection is just kind of like doomed to fail at this point. Whatever is going on between the two of you, maybe it's just not meant to keep happening. Maybe it's meant to just kind of like die out. You don't want that to be true, though. And so what you're doing is you're kind of ignoring this feeling or whatever of maybe this is doomed, maybe this is not going to work out. And you replace it with positive feelings of, I love this person. We have, we've been in each other's lives for quite a while. This is a long-term relationship. We're together for the long run. We can work through this. This is just a hump, right? But somewhere, logically, right, Queen of Swords, somewhere your brain, your mind, your logic is telling you, hey, Virgo, maybe it's time to call it quits, you know? But you really don't want to even entertain that thought or entertain that voice. And so you're like, no, 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 let's replace this voice of logic with positive emotional feelings about this connection and about this person. Now remember, the main energy for your reading was telling you you need to start focusing on yourself and your needs and your desires. But I don't feel like, like I said, I don't think you're listening to your intuition because your intuition is trying to tell you something about this connection and you're just not having it. Let's take a look at the lovers in the near future. Lovers is clarified by the Knight of Cups, Queen of Swords, Knight of Wands. You do genuinely love this person. You do view this connection as a very deep soul, emotional connection. And again, you arrive at the logical, and I keep putting logical in air quotes because it's like, it's not really logical, right? It's just more so I've tried everything else, nothing else works. This is all that's left. You arrive at the logical conclusion of I need to do more when it comes to me and this person. It's my responsibility, my burden to stoke this fire, to make this flame come alive, to offer them love, to express them love, to show them how attracted I am and how passionate and excited I am about them. You're showing me, I don't really feel that way right now. Like you're feeling very, very frustrated, but you also don't want to give up on this connection. And so you're like, well, what I need to do is just literally do more, give them more love, give them more attention, give them more admiration, give them more affection, right? Your heart's not in it though. You're doing this because it's what you think you need to do in order to salvage this relationship and fix it. You don't feel that way towards this person at this point. You feel frustrated and annoyed with them because they're literally breadcrumbing you with their energy. Let's look at the Knight of Swords in the near future. Knight of Swords is clarified by the Sun, the Magician, and the Nine of Swords. Ah, you're telling me I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. This is what I've wanted. I've manifested this happiness. But all you're actually showing me is stress. So it's kind of like an energy of let me fake it till I make it. If I keep telling myself I'm happy, if I keep telling myself that this is what makes me happy, then I'll end up believing it, right? I'll be able to like gaslight myself. But you're not happy, Virgo. But you still keep doing whatever it is you're doing, trying to convince yourself that you're happy. You're literally gaslighting yourself here, straight up, <laughs> you know, straight up. Let's take a look at the Queen of Wands, which you got in the current situation. Queen of Wands is clarified by the Temperance, the Two of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, you get the Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You're just waiting. You're just waiting. You're showing me like, look, I'm not at the point where I'm ready to call it quits or give up on this or anything like that. I'll just wait. I'll just give this a lot more time. Maybe I'll just keep, you know, throwing on the spice. Maybe I'll just try to focus on my physical appearance. Maybe that'll help turn things around. Virgo, 
I don't know your connection with this person, but just looking at these energies, you ain't the problem. And I'll just leave it at that. Let's take a look at what the universe wants you to keep in mind for this reading. From the universe, you get the Page of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. It's an uphill battle. It's an uphill battle. You're making progress, right? Like I can see you making progress in this connection and moving the dial and things are kind of like improving somewhat, but it's hard. It's literally so, so difficult. And it's mainly because, and I'll be straight with you, Virgo, it's mainly because your person's breadcrumbing the, the bleep out of you. It's not that they're completely disregarding you. It's not that they completely don't give you attention or energy or affection, but it's this much. You're giving them this much, they're giving you this much. They're giving you just enough to keep you hanging. No wonder it's so hard. But yeah, Virgo, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you here on the next one.